What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to another Rattlesnake Valley here on the PC. Do appreciate you guys clicking on the video. So, guys, today we've got something uh, kind of a little interesting here. A viewer uh, suggested thing that I will be trying here momentarily, guys, in, in just a minute after we get our auger wagon set up. Uh, I was looking at some of the comments. Somebody was talking about a bigger auger wagon. I don't think I really need a bigger auger wagon for one reason. Course play. I could see going to two auger wagons with two trucks and two combines. But I just don't know that I need a bigger auger wagon. Because this one handles it just fine. I mean, I could. Don't get me wrong. Definitely could. But I like this little, I like this auger wagon tractor setup. So there's that. Okay, let's, uh, enough of that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Find the combine. I really should save this course, but you know, this is easier. Not easier, you know. Okay, so there's that. Truck set up on, G on course play, not GPS, course play. Auger wagon set up on course play. Combine's hired out, he's good to go. Uh, planter is obviously not going to go yet. But guys, Mr. Jeremy suggested that I do this. So we are going to try this out real quickly here. I am going to purchase a green head now. This is the fast one, 11 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and just pick one up. Got to make it green, of course. We have the money for this, so it's okay to experiment a little bit here. And where did it spawn? Over here. Okay, cool. So we happen to have our little Herleman up here at the shop just awaiting to do this. So, yeah. Alrighty. Alrighty. But some of you guys were suggesting another field maybe first. And a combine and then animals. And I, I kind of agree with that. I do like that theory. On, uh, you know, what to do next on this map, basically. Okay, so we're going to go up to... Turn right here and turn left and turn right and then turn. It's a whole thing. We're going to go up to 20. What is it? 25. Field 25 has a mission to harvest. I think it's canola or something. Something that requires this green head. So what Jeremy suggested was that I. Oh, hey now. Put. <laughs> basically put a fast head right next to the field. So that, that dog, auger wagon's not moving, is he? Okay, that combine's like full. Come on, man. What are you doing? You're killing me. Um, are you not? Drive, drive? Did I not send? Yeah, your sons here. Drive? Drive, drive, no. Drive now? That you're going to drive the course. Maybe you'll uh, pick it up then, huh? Maybe? But basically what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to take that fast head I just bought, park it next to the field that the mission's going to be on, prefer preferably, I would assume, right by the the actual, um, like, where you accept the mission, you know, where you can buy the field, that little marker, so that when you spawn in and do your mission, boom, you have a fast head just awaiting for you. Now, field 25 might be a little big, but that's... If you look at the growth chart here, that's uh, about one of the few fields that are actually ready to go that, you know, is decent size. I could do 18, but, or could I do 18? It depends on what your crop is, too, you see. See, that's sunflower. And I wanted a, a head that I could tow. Okay, so that's canola up there in 25. That's what we're off to harvest is canola. So, should be interesting. Um... Yeah, apparently the time bonus is going to be, um, shall we say, lit. <laughs> or legitimate, maybe. Maybe we'll just stay with legitimate. So, should be good. We should be able to make a ton of money off of this. And meanwhile, our combine, auger wagon, truck, they're just going to keep rolling over there for us. So, that's the beauty of course play. I can go off and do other things. I know there hasn't been a lot of other things for me to do yet on this map, but getting more into missions is, uh, I, th I think it's a really good thing. 
because it's just oh gosh, I need to learn how to drive. It's just a uh, it's it's cash flow. You know, we can really keep the cash flow up, and especially because I want to get into animals eventually on this map. I'm, I need money. I mean, that's no secret. You know, I, I definitely need the money. So, is this our field? No. Okay, up on the right. Oh, hey there. Those tracks are a little aggressive on this header. Probably need to go buy a new one already. Jeez. So, yeah, but I wanted to go with a head that I could tow with my little Herleman instead of, you know, having to, like, drive the combine all the way up here with a car head on it. That would not be fun. That would not be fun. Maybe eventually I can get, like, a low boy trailer, keep the car head on there. That would work for some of these missions. That would definitely work. But uh, this should work out fairly well today, guys, with uh, with this header. This, Like I said, this is, is the fast one. So it should be pretty, pretty awesome. I'm hoping that auto turn with GPS will work, even though I'm going fast. I have a feeling it won't, but we'll see how it works. If it doesn't work, that's fine. I can always do the, uh, do the turning myself. So I have not been up to this part of the map yet. It's, uh, it's, uh, kind of, kind of flat up here. <laughs> not flat and nice. I like it up here. I like I don't know. Flat fields are good, but rolling hill fields are good as well. But, uh, you know, it's all good either way. All good either way. Well, most of this map is flat, isn't it? A lot of this map is flat. Okay. So, here's the uh, entrance to the field and where the symbol's at. So, if we park this, say, over here, and we do just need to make sure it's close enough, actually. Let me just make sure, because you only get so much time to drive away from your field. So you do have to be kind of close. So if we park it in the field, then we'll definitely be good. This is a huge field. This is going to take me a while, but uh, that is okay. We'll do it between videos as well. So I think we're going to go ahead and get this started. And, or, let's see. Let's go check our stuff and make sure real quick. Because once we're in the mission, we're kind of trapped in the mission, you know. So we kind of have to, kind of have to stay with the mission until the mission is done, you know, basically. So, or until there's five hundred thousand liters of uh, stuff in the in the train there. So, all right, let's do this mission, guys. Join me on this mission journey. It should be a good time. Should be a good time. So yeah, we've got the good combine. Just, uh, we're upgrading the head here slightly. Or a lot. Definitely a lot. Alright, so let's fire this bad boy up, get it unfolded. Not use the head that they provide. Although the good thing is you should, in theory, be able to put this head on, like, you know, the little tiny combines. You know, because it's it'll hook up. Why won't you? Uh, that's not going to work. Really? I unfolded. Oh, duh. I gotta put the wheels up on the, the header. Duh. Derp, da derp, da derp, da derp. Derp, So this head's a little bit wider than that one, it looks like. This is the big head. That was the smaller. The smaller head. But the speed is where it's at. I didn't even look at how much money I'm supposed to be making off this either. Let's just do this a little bit. Get around the header there. Alright. Let's go north. Go north. We shall. I've been watching way too much Game of Thrones lately, guys. Actually, not 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 too much. You know, I've been watching a proper amount of Game of Thrones, I should say. Just saying. Alright, so now that we can go eleven miles an hour, that will definitely help this uh, process out a considerable amount. So yeah, it's going to take a while to do this whole field. This is kind of a <laughs> kind of a big field, honestly. But, um, you know, that's okay. It, uh, it's all good. It says it's going to take 188 minutes. It shouldn't take anywhere near anywhere near that long, guys. But, uh, you know, that's okay. That's okay. So, let's see. Some of the other comments from the other day... Yeah, about the gold coins with the uh, live stream. I definitely want to do that. 
I want to do that on probably like maybe even a Wednesday. Like just kind of a random, maybe not a Wednesday because text always, text usually streams with me on Wednesdays and that wouldn't be a multiplayer thing, obviously, because gold coins are not found in multiplayer on most maps. So we would not be able to do that, but probably that really would, would probably be a good Sunday night stream. You know, get some people hang out in TeamSpeak and uh, talk about gold coins. That that shall be fun. So I will have to do that uh, soon, and then I'll record that, and that'll be an episode for for in here is what that will be. So it would be it will be a little bit different, but it should be fun at the same time. Should be a good time to bring in the other people and, and you know make an hour long or two hour long or however it would be. I probably wouldn't do more than an hour like I you know normally record my my streams and hour chunks so that is probably what I would do so yeah oh I've talked a lot about it I don't know I'm sure I have in these videos about my broken tooth I wanted to talk a little bit about that today I went back to the dentist last week for me in real life and Basically what they did is they took the band-aid off that they had put on my tooth. In case you guys don't know, I broke a tooth eating Special K cereal. And I will never eat Special K cereal again in my life. Don't worry. Never going to eat it again. Not going to happen. Anyway. Uh, we first went in. They did put like a band-aid on it basically to remove the little broken piece. And put some sealer on there. Went back in the other day. Like I said, they took the sealer off and they, you know basically ground down my tooth and got it ready for a permanent crown is what they did so my tooth is now ready for that all right we need to adjust our auto turn there we go so my tooth is now ready for uh a, a full-on crown it has a temporary crown glued on with temporary glue right now and in about another what week and a half or something from from right now when I'm recording this I will go back in and get my permanent crown my zirconium crown they don't use gold anymore I do have a gold crown from years ago a gold tooth crown whatever you want to call it from about 10 years ago <laughs> is when I got that one uh, kind of a similar thing I don't remember what I was eating but my tooth broke and and, uh, yeah, I I don't think it's any secret. I I mean, it's known in the family here. I was really bad as a young lad taking care of my teeth. It was never a thing that I, I did a lot of, you, you could say. And because of that, I, I definitely had some cavities back in the day. And, you know, when you have to drill out basically the whole center of a back tooth and put filling in it, it, it it's just a matter of time before it's going to break the rest of the tooth out because it's so weak. So that's what actually happened with both of my, my teeth now that I will have crowns on. Take care of your teeth, guys. Brush them like crazy. Just saying. If I could go back, you know, 20 years and, and do things differently, I would. 100% would. So there is that. But anyway, that's enough of that story. Um, it is going to be kind of pricey to fix. Uh, all told, it's going to be just around the $2,000 mark or so to uh, get it all patched up and and good to go. So that kind of hurts, like, that kind of hurts a lot, just saying. That does. But, uh, you know, it's something that has to be taken care of, and, and uh, that's just all there is to it. So, yeah, good times there, right? Maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. So this weekend coming up for me uh, as of recording this is going to be obnoxiously hot. I can't wait to film an on-the-farm video where I am sweating my face off. <laughs> uh, looking back, when I made the episode 100 montage, uh, looking back through all the on-the-farms, I was amazed at how sweaty I was in some of those videos. But you know, it's real life. You know, sweat happens, and especially when it's really really hot down at the farm and there's no place to go escape the heat realistically yeah you can go sit in front of a fan in the shed but there's no air conditioning you know unless we come home for lunch or or come into town for lunch we don't necessarily come home we come in town for lunch 
and get get a good air conditioning ride in, you know, then, because that truck dad has the air does work quite well. So there is that. But, uh, yeah, it uh, gets a little warm down there sometimes, and it, it was amazing at uh, just how sweaty I was in some of those videos that I recorded last summer. And, uh, I, oh, boy, can't wait to do that again this year, right? <laughs> just saying, it should be a good time. So... Yeah, we don't really have much going on at the farm right now. Um, I do have a sandblasting project that I've been working on for a guy, actually, and I haven't filmed any of that, but he's got a bunch of old Harley parts from a 1940-something Harley, and uh, he gave me a whole box of parts the other day to sandblast for him. He's a he's a mechanic that works with Dad up at the lawnmower shop, actually. I've known the guy all my life. Literally all of my life I have known this guy. He asked me if I would uh, help him out by saying Boston. He says he's going to pay me, too. So that's cool. Just saying. <laughs> I would do it for free for him, but uh, he is nice enough to uh, go ahead and, I guess, throw me a few bucks to sandblast all this stuff. There's actually quite a few parts. Quite a few parts in this box that he sent us. So should be interesting to get all, get all of that done for him. And the best part is normally when you sandblast, you need to paint right away because whatever you sandblast will actually start to rust within 24 hours because it is bare metal. And he knows that, but he flat out said, don't worry about it, I will paint it. So what we're doing is we're sandblasting and then when we come into town that night, we're just dropping the stuff off at his house because he lives between the farm and my, our house. We would almost have to drive past his house anyway to get home. So we might as well just like swing in and, and drop off a few parts here and there. And uh, he's cool with that, you know, he doesn't mind that we don't have it all done at once you know do a few parts here and there the worst parts that we have a lot of it's pretty rusty and that's okay the, that sandblaster just eats the rust away but a couple of the parts were chrome and the chrome was still in pretty decent shape i mean they were starting to you know show some rust through and of course you want to go ahead and redo those so yeah the chrome and keep in mind this is like 1940s original chrome it comes off in flakes. It doesn't come off in like a powder like new chrome does. This 1940s chrome comes off in these big flakes and we're having fits with it because we reuse our sand of course in the in our uh, sand pot down there. We capture it all out of the uh, sandblast cabinet and reuse it. Otherwise you just go through way too much sand and it starts to get expensive. But that that uh, chrome comes off in flakes and it clogs, clogs up the nozzle on the gun. So we've been fighting some of that down there. It's uh, It's been a whole thing. It has definitely been a whole thing. But uh, it's all good. We learned our lesson on the first chrome piece, and we sat it aside. And there's, I think, one more chrome piece that we're going to try to do last. <laughs> Save the, the worst for last, basically, with the chrome. So that is our theory right now, anyway. And I think it is a pretty good theory to go ahead and just wait on that stuff. So, yes. All right, looks like our stuff, are they collided? Are they in a collision over there or are they moving? All right, let's go for a quick tab. Oh, they're emptying, okay. Well, I can't, there we go. I was like, why can't I find it back? I know I can tab in and out of this stuff. I've done it before. All right, back to harvesting. Back to harvesting, must roll the harvest. So we're on past six already. It'd be interesting to figure out how many passes this field actually takes to complete. If you see there in the bottom chunk, top left corner of GPS mod there, here, I'll show you with the mouse, I think. Wait, yeah. Yeah, you can see the mouse, okay. I wasn't sure on this capture if you if I have show the mouse or not, but right there, that's how many passes that you've actually done. So we're on plus six, which means we have done six passes since we started at 13.6 meters we got 100 meters to the end of the field all this good stuff we're good to go so there's that there is that and actually guys got some other stuff about the farm the uh which probably by now you guys have seen it the water cannon is running it's a good time if you guys haven't seen that go check out the on the farm series uh, i believe it was in last week's episode last sunday's episode so i'm recording this before i edit that if that makes sense so I'm like I'm pretty sure yeah it should be in this past Sunday's 
uh, on the farm. I don't, don't know what number it is offhand, but yes. Good times, good times. So I just want to show, throw a big shout out to Jeremy for suggesting the fast head. Parking it by the field before you start. It's a great idea, sir. Really do appreciate that. I will have to keep it in mind. And if nothing else, I own this head. So I can definitely move it from field to field. And it should be a good time. So I will finish this field up, obviously, before I come back for the next video. And we'll probably be... Probably... So part of them working on my tooth the other day, guys, my gum is, like, really sore in there. It's hard to talk sometimes. It's harder to talk than normal, which, you know, normally it's pretty hard for me to talk. But I will advance this map uh, quite a bit, honestly. Get this field done. Move my equipment. All that good stuff. Probably have to start filling the train here eventually because, the you know, it's going to be full and stuff. So we will take care of all of that before we come back for the Thursday episode. So until then, I'm your boy, John Poopla. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, make sure you click that like button for more. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, toodles.